So you want to make some cool car videos, huh? Okay, I get it. The problem is if you use the audio that comes straight out of your camera, it's going to sound like... So in this video, I'm going to show you some simple and relatively inexpensive ways that you can get awesome sounding car audio for your videos. the most simple and work our way up into more fancy equipment and multiple mics and all that to make it even better but let's start simple here is basically everything you need to get started one inexpensive lavalier microphone make sure it's a TRS made for cameras and audio recorders with the two rings and not a TRRS which is designed for smartphones when you're using a headset and a microphone that's important a block of foam. This is a cheap piece of garage door seal from the hardware store that I cut. Make sure you use open cell foam. It's got some squish to it. And then you just use an X-Acto knife or something and cut a hole into it about halfway down. This is your windshield, an extension cord, and some gaffer tape. And basically that's all you need. One microphone and we're going to mount it near the exhaust because that's really what you want to hear and run it straight into the camera. So first you want to separate off the supplied windshield and the little clip that comes with your lav mic. And then all you're going to do is insert that into your foam homemade windshield. And now we have a beautiful windproof external microphone. Our test mule for this video is my 1991 Mazda Miata featuring 1.6 liters of raw power and fury. It may not be the most epic example, but it should serve the purpose just fine for this video. Also, I highly suggest that you wear headphones or use some good speakers to listen to this so you can actually tell the difference in what we're about to do. We can try to find somewhere underneath to tuck it in. It doesn't have to be right next to the exhaust as long as it's somewhere nearby. Um, it's ideal if you can tuck it up somewhere out of the wind, but this piece of foam, believe it or not, is good enough to just mount on the outside and you still won't really have an issue with wind noise. I think I found a pretty good spot. Here's our exhaust pipe. And we come up underneath and there's a heat shield here where I was able to just tuck it up underneath. So I'm going to make sure that's secure and then I'm going to look for somewhere that I can route my wire. So when it comes to routing the wire, we're kind of working our way from the outside in. So I'm going to go under here and look for any holes that I could pass the wire through so I don't have to go completely around the bumper and on the outside. It's better to go inside if you can. So I just saw some daylight through the license plate light right here. So I'm going to see if I can get this through. And look at that. <laughs> That's beautiful. This is actually going to be a really nice stealthy setup. So I've got it running up through the license plate light, piece of gaffer tape to keep it there. Then it's going to run along the trunk seal where it won't really get pinched. And then I have my extension cable plugged in there and then wrap tape around it to make sure it doesn't come loose. And then there's just enough of a gap here come up next to this bracket, tape down there. And then obviously cheating, since it's a convertible, makes it a lot easier. And I'm just going to run it down here and then put my camera probably on this window somewhere and point it towards me and just plug the mic straight in. And we should get some good audio. No problem. Okay, so I did a little cleaning, a little taping. Tape the wire so it's not rattling. We don't want to hear that. And we should be good to go. Here's where we run into kind of the first downside of just plugging straight into your camera. 
Most cameras, GoPro included, don't really let you manually control the audio level that you're recording. A lot of cameras use automatic gain control, which you might see in your settings as AGC, um, which is fine because you avoid clipping, but you just have no control over it. This GoPro I'm using has different input settings, like a standard mic, a powered mic, or a line-in. So I'm going to have to play around a bit to see what works and make sure the audio is not blowing out or too quiet for that matter. A few moments later. Pretty fun, right? Um, there's quite a bit of road noise, so we're gonna have to do something about that in the edit. It's hard to avoid, especially when it's so close to the ground, but the, the hissing tire sound is a very specific frequency, so we should be able to cut that out mostly. What if you're thinking, okay, that's cool, but I wanna capture a little bit more. I wanna get some of the engine or something. Can I do that at the same time? Uh, yes, you can. Just double up the exact same stuff that we used on the exhaust and uh, put one in the engine bay. And most cameras and audio recorders that you're going to be using use a TRS plug, which means you can either use a stereo mic or if you have a special cable, stereo breakout cable, you can use two mono mics and one will end up on the left channel and one on the right channel. So we have the option with just a camera to have two sources. So let's try to put one in the engine bay. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna try. I'm wedging it right next to the air box because that's where we should get a nice kind of growly induction sound that the Miata makes. We're also close to this intake duct here. So we should get a nice growl. Other important thing is we're away from the exhaust. We're away from the engine block. You wanna be really mindful of where you mount something in the engine because there's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of heat. So you want to be careful not to cause any damage or mess anything up or to set your piece of foam on fire. So anyway, this should be fine. Um, I could tape it down, but it's wedged so securely in there and we're just going to go on a short drive. I think it's fine. So then I wrapped the wire around that, went under there, found a nice little access hole there, taped it. Then it's going along inside this wiper cowl tape the connection again and then I found a nice little access around the hood hinge there's a nice little hole in the back of the fender it's probably hard to see yeah perfect little hole and then I can just there's enough of a gap again where I can just pinch it in the door seal and then I can run this and the exhaust mic at the same time into this wonderful stereo breakout cable it's important to note this is not a standard y splitter that you would use for headphones or something because all that does is duplicate what's coming out of here and puts it into two headphones this is different it's uh splitting the signal in to the left and right so we have two mono microphones so we're not losing anything so the left channel is going to be the exhaust and the right is going to be the engine so let's give it a try Not bad, right? That really adds a lot when you add the engine in. Kind of completes the sonic image a bit better. The cool thing about what we just did is we captured a good little selection of audio clips of this car. And whether or not you choose to use the shot, you know, where I'm driving here, you can use those audio samples with any clip of this car driving 
if you uh, stick a GoPro on your buddy's car and get some cool exterior shots, um, you can mix in the audio that we just got. But this is a good example of getting two channels at once. You can also do the same thing if you have a dual exhaust V8 or V6 or V whatever car and you want to get both sides of the exhaust. That's a great way to do it. Here's a fun example of a dual exhaust setup I did a couple years ago on this street legal sprint car. But again, if you if you have two mics on the exhaust and you still want to have one or two more, say on the engine or the interior, then you will need to use a separate audio recorder. So we're going to get into that. But let's get back. This was fun. We'll uh, take a look at these clips and uh, see how we can make them as good as they can be. The next day. All right. It's not bad. Um, I've brought it into Premiere and I'm just going to show you a couple quick basic things that you could and should do to kind of fix this up a bit. So right out of the box we have a completely separated stereo file where one is all the way left and one's all the way right. So let's uh, copy the audio from this so we can independently deal with each one. So I'm going to option click this so it's isolated, copy it, and I will paste it. Move it on to a new audio track, and then we go in, select, right click on one, go to audio channels, and I'm going to say I want just the right channels on this one, and that's going to be the engine, so I'm going to rename it so I know what I'm dealing with, and on the other one, left channel only. That should be the exhaust. So mainly on the exhaust, what I wanted to deal with is the uh, road noise and the tires on the ground because um, it's so close to the ground with that mic. So the good thing about road noise is it's pretty predictable. It's almost always going to be close to a thousand hertz in the frequency range. So we can put an equalizer on it, but first let's listen to it as it is. Okay, so I'm going to drag on a parametric equalizer. I just like the, the visual that it gives you and the control. So number three here is close, so I'm going to change it to affect a thousand hertz. And I'm going to go about negative 35 decibels on that but I don't want it to affect such a wide range, so I'm going to make this a lot narrower. And we'll change our scale to 96. Let's try 75. Test this out. heard me toggle it off and on. It makes quite a difference um, and you can play around with these settings quite a bit. It's kind of a balance you need to strike because you don't want to take out too much of the information that's there because you might lose some of the uh, character of the exhaust. Let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's cut it down nicely. 
So there's a lot more we could do to play around with the equalization and really maximize the, the tone and the sound of it, but I'm not going to bother with that for this because this is the easy version. Uh, then we're going to go in, take a look at the engine only. That's pretty good, but I hear a couple clicks in there, and I think that might be a limitation of the GoPro's internal gain control. I think that might have clipped a little bit. It's either that or the connection wasn't great at the little adapter on the bottom of the GoPro. Um, so these are some of the limitations we're dealing with plugging straight into the camera. But overall, I think it sounds pretty good. So when we put them together... <laughs> It's obviously much too loud because we're uh, clipping pretty bad here, so I'm going to go over to our mixer and just bring these down a bit, play around with it until it's still loud but not clipping. And what's cool, having two different sources, we can adjust them. If you like the exhaust sound better, you can kind of raise that up louder than the engine or vice versa. just about perfect. We're not clipping anymore, but it's still nice and loud. So I think the last thing I'm going to do, just to make it a little more interesting, because right now we have a totally centered audio file. Um, so because we can, why don't we put the exhaust to the right a bit? Why don't we say 25? Because it is on the right side of the car. And then as the driver, since you're sitting on the left side, why don't we put the engine sound to the left a bit, and that'll give us a little more of a stereo effect. So let's see how that sounds. And you can obviously play around with that as much as you like, depending on how much of a spread you want. So yeah, in a nutshell, that's uh, basically an easy way to record two sources and edit them and have some good car sound for not too much effort. So hope this was helpful. And I think I'm going to do a part two for the next part. I'm going to get the Opal out. I'm going to use a separate audio recorder with four inputs, this puppy, and some different microphones. And we're going to try some interesting stuff. So stay tuned for that. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you found it helpful. <laughs>